Hi and welcome to Wildlife World's Wildlife Camera System and Camera Nest Box. It's a fantastic product for watching wildlife close up. So when the box arrives, you'll need to open the front panel to remove the envelope inside. So the front section has two screws that you just need to undo. Then you want to put that panel back on and secure the screws again. The next thing is to go into the top of the box. The top opens very easily, there's a hinge on the right and then you'll open it up and you'll see the camera there in its own casing. So you can actually move the camera box outside and then have it set up so that it's watching the entrance. Inside the top section you'll see the camera there and there's a black dust cap over the lens keeping it safe. What you need to do when you're ready to start filming is just simply pull this dust cap off and then make sure that the position is facing down and you can pop that back into its casing and then secure the box again. You can see here that this back wooden panel, it needs to slide around so that it is upright. You'll see there's a pre-drilled hole space and we provide you with a screw. The box is then ready for you to put up. Using a screw, you can then just go through that top hole and secure it to a tree or to the side of a building, a fence, wherever the best place is. So when you're looking to set up your nest box, you're looking for a tree or side of a building that's within 30 metres of your television screen. The box is designed to attract lots of different species and you can set the box up yourself depending on what you want to attract. So the box arrives with the hole in place. It's a 32 millimetre hole. So that is to encourage birds like blue tit, great tit, sparrow to nest in the box. If you're wanting to have robins, wrens, pied flycatchers and other open hole nesting birds, then you're going to need to adjust the box. If you just remove the middle section, the one with the hole in, there's just two screws that you need to remove, remove that section and then you've got a robin nester. Another option for the box is in winter time when you're outside of bird nesting season, you can use the box as a feeder. It's really important to make sure it's clean as well between using it as a feeder and using it as a nester. So now I'm going to talk you through how to set the nest box camera up so that you can enjoy your own wildlife show from your own garden. Inside the envelope you're going to find a wide angled lens, a power adapter and a SCART adapter. You will see there are three coloured connectors. The red lead goes into the power adapter which goes into the power socket. You then take your SCART adapter and you plug the yellow connector into the yellow part of the SCART adapter and likewise for the white. You then plug the SCART adapter into the back of the television. Please then turn the power on and turn the television on and your picture should appear. If the picture isn't great quality or the sound isn't great, you can make these adjustments on your television. Or if the image is a little bit blurry and you can't get it right using the television settings, you may need to go back out to the box and adjust the focus. So inside the envelope, you also had your wide angled lens. Now this is best used when you remove the camera from the nest box and take it outside to do some other filming. The camera housing box is there to protect the camera. So we do encourage you to keep the camera inside that box so that it stays safe. And when you're fastening the camera box, it's very easy. You can just pop a screw in wherever it is that you're wanting to secure it and then it just slides over the top and there you go, your camera is secure anywhere in the garden. And then you can pop it on the side of a wall or a tree and you can have it so that it's filming the birds coming in and out either of a feeder or of the nest box. And that's when the wide angle lens is really useful because you get a much broader range of view. A really important part of maintaining a box is ensuring that it's clean. So at the end of nesting season, usually from September through into the start of January, 
that's known as the best time of year to clean out your nest boxes. You may just be able to brush any debris away. If they are very soiled or they've become wet and mucky, then you're going to want to use some environmentally friendly cleaning products, some warm water, and please use the Wildlife World brush kit because that's really good brush for getting into those corners where debris and bacteria can build up. 